All right, so now we're going to go over how to create an actual Facebook page for your business or your firm or your company if you don't have one, right? So it's, it's very simple. So we go into our Facebook account and we go to create page. From here, for your local business or place, we're going to select that. Enter in the information accordingly, right? The business name, street address, obviously the city and the state, the zip code, the phone number. And if you choose to get tips through the Facebook Messenger, then you can leave that checked. Um, obviously, check the terms and conditions and go and read them to make sure that everything that you do is going to be aligned with the expectations of Facebook. And then you'll just hit get started. Now, it'll send you over to a page that somewhat looks like this. This will be gray. This will be gray Will you place a photo. And then there'll be about two to three steps right here that it's gonna tell you what to do. And essentially the first step is, it wants you to add a photo, right? If you notice right here, you can I can change the cover. But when you first sign in, I believe the button will be right here, it'll say, add photo so put something that's relevant to you and or your business or your company and then place it and have it selected there then over here it's the same thing this is almost like your profile image right if you have a team of people then obviously that'd be good if it's just you that you want there whatever you choose of your liking in this section you'll actually name the page which will help you to be found on Facebook and also if you choose to do any type of other formal marketing with this URL extension. And the last portion would be you would edit your page info. Uh, go ahead and go in there and put what you feel is relevant and describes you. I believe you get 250 something characters, so obviously it can't be too long. But those are the basic things that it asks you to do. In addition to one more thing I almost forgot, this button right here, it allows you to do several different things. You can book services, get in touch, they can learn more about you, make a purchase. But in my opinion for us, it'd be get in touch is what's important to us. So we can have them call us. This way they can actually fill out a form on your website. If you utilize Facebook Messenger, they could send you a message. If you wanted them to sign up on a form, excuse me, sign up with a form on your website, it'd be this option. And if you just wanted them to send you an email, obviously this one. So in my opinion, it would be call now or send a message, right? So I would choose that if you guys are handy and ready to respond that way. And you should be set up and ready to go. Now, obviously we will have to allow us access to this page, but if you're setting it up, and granting access, obviously you would have access yourself, so shouldn't be an issue. On to the next video.